Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new Man Law video, um, and this will be an interesting one. Um, privilege or performance? Now, I'm doing this video in response to a debate I watched, and there are plenty of videos out there of people giving their, you know, their talk about what happened during the debate, but it was one in, in, um, it was one in, in Canada, and it featured four individuals, and the, the, the topic that was being, that was being debated was political, political correctness. And the four people who were, I guess it was two sides, on one side for political correctness was uh, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson and uh, Michelle Goldberg. She's a, I think she's a writer for, um, I think the New York Times if I'm not mistaken. And, and uh, those against political correctness, I'm looking at my notes right here, um, is uh, Stephen Fry, he's an actor from the UK, and Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, who I just recently did a book review on. Um, before this video uh, comes out, and there was a segment in the video, there was a segment in the in the during the during the discussion where Pe where Dr. Peterson uh, says, well, how much of his how much of his privilege attributes to the problem the, the problem that he sees with political correctness and basically saying that you know there are people who are there are people who are privileged over others is how much of their how much of his privilege can he attribute to his success. You know, he says five percent, ten percent. Or what is you know? And if you come up, if, if if it's not definite, then it relies solely on it's rely it's relying on subjectivity, basically on someone else's opinion of what they think about that particular group, and 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 part of the and through and then throughout and, and back the, during the exchange between um, uh, Dr. Dyson and Dr. Peterson, Dr. Dyson said. He called, uh, and this, and you can tell this got Peterson upset. I'll include a link to a link to the uh, to what I'm talking about in the description box. He called Dr. Peterson um, a, a mean, angry white man, and what that did was basically discredit. Try he tried to discredit his argument by bringing race into the matter by suggesting that um, that he's just he's just a, you know basically dismissing his argument, saying, "Oh, you're just an angry white man." Um, you don't know what it's you don't know what it's like to uh, I guess to have struggled with, through things. Well, first of all, I think uh, I think it's very unma I think it's very emasculine to play the victim card because you I think, I think in a sense you take your nuts for granted. You you if you if you play, if, if you take if you one if you're if you're someone who take who stands in the position of I'm a victim twenty four seven. Then nothing could re really there's no there's really no there's nothing that anyone else can do that can help you, because uh, because you basically you you, not, you, cho you chose not to help yourself if you I mean if you really are a victim, you know if uh, unless you just want to you know if you, maybe you, maybe something happened in the past you know that happened to you and then you know it was over with but then you have to, you're still here you're still standing and there shouldn't be a weight that holds you back I guess it's kind of a, a multi multifaceted video, man law video but uh. You know, you should never. No, no man should ever let. You know, things in the past hold him back from becoming a better man in the few, down down the road. Um, stay, this taking this position of picking, taking this position of being a perpetual victim is, is is troubling and it's it's not it's not, it's, it's not becoming of a man. It's not becoming of a species with a spine. I know what I'm trying to say, and to see Dr. Dyson, you know, br you know, you throw out this word salad. Basically, they basically discredit you know Dr. Peterson's uh, accomplishments in life. And I've read his and I've read his book. I, it's kind of strange that he says that he doesn't know uh, he doesn't know uh, much. I guess he's not because he's white. He, he can't really identify with um, I guess an indigenous population. Which actually in the book it talks about where he you know how he grew up um, and in in Canada. I think just trying to, I think throwing those throwing those kind of insults is is is, is sad. You know and, and like I said, you'll see what I'm talking about in the video. And this whole idea that, you know, someone's privilege is something that ultimately determines, the, you know, where, what direction they're going to head in life, I think it's silly. It may, it, may give them a, it may give them a head start in particular areas, but it's not the final, it's not, it doesn't make the final decision as to where someone's going to be in life. You know, it all, everything, everything still comes down to your performance, whether it's good performance or shitty performance. Um, Dr. Peterson obviously worked hard, as well as Dr. Dyson. They both worked hard to, to become, you know, doctors in their respective fields and to have some type of notoriety. 
you know, I'm not sure why uh, Dr. Dyson would, I'm not sure why Dyson would say that he, you know, would, would act as though he's a perpetual victim when, I mean, he's clearly made, he, he's clearly done his work and he's no, he's pretty well known. Uh, someone suggested that maybe he's just, he's just, uh, he's envious of Dr. Peterson right now because Dr. Peterson's pretty hot, um, especially, especially online for the lectures that he's put out, um, put out on YouTube and um, for, you know, for the topics he discussed because of how, how helpful they are to a generation of young individuals, especially young men who seem to be lost in it and without direction and aimless and trying to find them, trying to find some meaning in their life. And I think that's, and I think that's a great, I think that's a, I think it's a you know a worthwhile task to you know to 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 carry upon yourself. I think it's a worth a worthwhile burden to carry. But he but he seems to be one to basically say that you know you you got into where you are because of you know because of the color of your skin. And and, that, and like I said, that's that's sad. That's it's, it's sad to see any, see a grown man you know with with or any grown any see a grown man of any of any level of accomplishment say that. Because he take his, because he then takes his own accomplishments for granted, or he, or at least or he doesn't maybe he, he takes them too lightly. He doesn't think that they're they're really you know we're really worth all the effort that he invested in them. If all he can say is that well I guess it all can't you know or I guess I, you know it, despite all the things I did I'm still I'm still just a lowly man because of how I look. <laughs> but I think, that's 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 just that's just <laughs> that's pitiful you know to be honest. Um, but yeah, your performance. Really, no matter where you start, no matter where your privilege starts you off in life, whether you're, you know, and I, I think I guess I'll say that because, um, because I'm I'm six two, and I, I, you know, I have friends that will comment about a comment about my height. I'm pretty sure one of them who does that is gonna watch this video, and yeah, I guess I start, I guess I'm I'm particularly privileged because of you know genetics because of how tall I am or because of how lean I am. Uh, people notice that you know I had you eat a whole lot. And, you know, you, you how you stay real thin. I said, I'm just my metabolism is that is that crazy, but I still have to I still have to you know I still have to perform well. I still have to, I still have to keep myself fit. I still have to go out there and do some work or get some exercise in or uh, take I have to take care of my body and that's performance. So I don't just have well I guess you don't really see much. I'm a pretty lean guy, but I don't have this <laughs> this just because I just you know just just ate and I, I just passively active you know passively went on through life. I had to act and. In that debate, you know, it, it's really about you know, in the, in the topic of political correctness, as well as are we willing, to, are, are you know, can we talk about the fact that some yeah, some people are privileged, but really it ultimately comes down to performance, and that you shouldn't let certain aspects of you know, certain details about you know, about yourself that even though it may, it may identify with another group, shouldn't be the thing that actually holds you back from being something in life, from uh, from accomplishing anything in life. And Joe, this and so in that in that in that uh, debate to see, um, you know, to see that thing being said about you know, George, Dr. Dr. Peterson is white and that, and he can't he can't know what it's like to I guess experience some type of hardship or, that's uh, that's <laughs> I don't know that, that's pretty childish. Um, no, but hey, what I know I'm not you know I, I didn't I never I don't have a doctorate degree in so and so I'm just a guy on YouTube you know. A flannel shirt and a bald head and a cowboy hat. But please tell me what you think. What do you think of this video? Do you um, please? I encourage you to check out. Check out just if uh, I'm pretty. There are many links. I'll, I'll include the full debate on um, on the, on the description box. But you find if you can find other links that just give you that segment of what I'm talking about. Uh, tell me what you think. Do you think your Do you think your your privilege was the only thing that that helped you out in life, or do you you know attribute the work that you uh, or the, the where you are right now, do you attribute that to your performance? That you actually have to work at uh, what you have, work to have, work to gain what you have right now in life. Um, tell, please share your thoughts. Uh, leave a comment, comment section. Make a video response. You got a gripe about everything I said? You felt triggered? You felt offended? Oh well. But well, still, you can leave a comment in the comment section, or you know, send me a send me a private message. I'll see what I can do to address it. <laughs> but that's my video. Uh, it's another man love video. Uh, privilege or performance. I'm Edward Jones. Thanks for watching.